A by-election turned violent that day, January 31, 2019, and left 38-year-old Ishao Yaru, an agent of the opposition NDC, severely injured. Because there is no bone inside the leg. She knew from this side up to this side, bone no. Her daddy and her supporting me. Nearly two years on, the former footballer cannot walk. The impact on his family has been telling. Yeah, yeah, man, Penny Dada, John Draman Mahama. Medana Sipa. Because his incidents were up here. John Draman Mahama. And I would take care of me. Bill or hospital, medicine. I mean, by fear. I don't know how many scars. I had the mommy. Any me, many me families. Events of that fateful day keep playing back in his mind. His wife, Aisha Yaru, broke down in tears as she recalled experiences since the incident. I did see what was going on. I mean, you don't pay a good for. Boys, I'll be a slow. I mean, I'm the only one. So, I'm in Miami. I don't know about Papa and about Bonnie. It is a while about Bonnie and my hair. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. The Emil Short Ayawasu West Wagon Commission of Inquiry, among others, recommended for payment of financial compensation to Ishao Yaru and for others who sustained injuries arising from, quote, reckless gunshots by the SWAT team, unquote. But that has still not happened one year since government issued the white paper on the matter. Executive Director of Jati K Center for Human Security and Peace Building, Adib San, is disappointed but not surprised. There was no commitment from day one. It was just um, a way to let the diplomatic community or the larger Ghanaian population know that the government was committed to it. Uh, it was at, uh, almost at that same time we had the passing of the anti-vigilantism and other related offences law, into law. I knew from the onset that it, it was just a political gimmick because there was absolutely no commitment. How should the issue of electoral violence be tackled? The laws must work. The institutions must work going forward. And these are all issues we need to be looking at. First and foremost, we have to invest in peace building. And one uh, institution that we're not really paying attention to is the National Commission for Civic Education. When they are well funded and they also at the same time collaborate with uh, NGOs, CSOs like the Jetski Center for Human Security and Peace Building to go out there and reach out to the people and let them understand the very essence of security. At least awareness creation, education is extremely key. With barely two months to the December 7 polls, Ishao wants government to implement recommendations of the Ayawaso West Wogon Commission of Enquiry to engender trust in the security agencies. Election na eba no. Me mbo mpae na me pese obi aso on come situation because one year nine months it's not easy. Me bre He hopes for a day he would be able to walk again. His wife, Aisha, joins the UN to disseminate the message of non-violence through education and public awareness. She foresees a peaceful election if all parties commit to it. About two away, dear me, one pair say, say, dear, dear, feel it say, a bear young moon. In shall allow young couple all money in your home. About the man I am real. I think about to be a AC or Ghana, Hano. Obama and I are very peaceful. Now, I hear example among the rest of the countries. Kamala Adum, TV3 News, Accra.